Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode 8 of the Celtic Mind Podcast channel. Yes, I do have a mark on my face. I was leaning on. I don't know what I was leaning on. I was leaning on something and made a mark on my face, right? But that's that, right? But welcome to episode 8 of the Celtic Mind Podcast, where we'll be talking about, um, obviously, um, Dominic Mackay coming in early. Um, to obviously, he's going to replace Peter Lowell, as expected, obviously, in July. But he's going to work with Celtic a lot earlier than expected, wrong, a couple of months earlier. Then obviously, um, then obviously July the first, where he's taken over from Peter Lawwell as the chief executive of Celtic. But the big question is, where's Eddie Howe? Oh, so one down, one to go, as they say. So guys, you all know before we get a discussion, we get the big discussion in. Here comes intro. <laughs> guys, after the intro, there of course, as I say, the big question is. Obviously, we're seeing Dominic Mackay coming in early. The rebuild is happening as it's, as the minutes go by, the hours go by, guys. So hopefully, we see uh, another one come in, and it's Eddie Howe. Hopefully, we see him coming up. Maybe not this week, but then maybe next week or something like that. But we want to see Eddie Howe as soon as possible, and it's Celtic part as a new. We wouldn't call it manager, now, we'd call it head coach, because obviously we're looking for obviously uh, director of football coming in, and then obviously the head coach, such says, um, obviously. Um, what do you call it, uh, Eddie Howe. So, you know, questions are still going to be around, where is Eddie Howe, is he going to come in, is it going to fall through? Um, you know, there's discussion about that, but we do know for one thing that as before Eddie Howe will take the job, he'll definitely say, as they said, probably in the meetings, you know, there's a couple of rumours saying about Eddie Howe discussed with Derek Desmond saying that he wanted, before if he accepted the job, he wants to bring his own bathroom staff and his own stuff and all, you know, his own, um, his own coaching people and all that stuff, right? But, you know, when, when Lennon got the job, when he accepted the job, he just took it like that instead of asking, I want to bring in my own people, you know, my own coaches and all that stuff. So that's where that downfall of the 10 came from again. But, um, you know, probably we're going to see an announcement maybe next week because season ticket news are also coming out. And this is definitely an exciting thing for Celtic, obviously. If anyone who supports Celtic or Celtic around, um, it's definitely exciting times for Celtic. Hopefully, we see Eddie Howe coming soon. Um, to be honest, I'm I'm really excited. Um, I am really excited because um, it's it's looking good so far. You know, the discussions about obviously um, what do you call it? The discussions over um, you know. I was say, oh, I don't even know what I was going to say there. Uh, discussions over, oh, was gonna, I don't even know what I was going to say there. I thought I forgot what I was going to say. Um, I don't know. And as it says here from, I, I, I can't remember what I was going to say guys, but I'll, I'll read about what the Daily Record said about uh, Mackay coming in early. Um, received... Yep, new era, yep, new era for Celtic to say. Uh, not only to see Neller as this has felt like a club which has been placed on pause ever since 10 the row began to hit the buffers in October. That's basically why Mackay's I'm mean, unveiling will effectively uh, signal the pressing of Celtic's re reset button. Given Sunday's Scottish Cup draw, it could be the new manager manager's starting date. It's also rushed forward ahead of a trip to Ibrox in less than a fortnight's time. And yet, whatever happens next, it'll also be, it'll be too late for Scott Brown, who may also be wondering why it took for so long for Howe to be spoken to give to, uh, to give in the long-established ability of the ex Bournemouth boss. He was meant to begin his new role, as he's talking about Derek Kai, he was meant to talk, begin his new role on July 1st, but the decision, has bring him, um, the decision to bring him in from SRU three months ahead of schedule is a sign that Celtic really do understand the urgency of the situation after all. It could be Dermot Desmond to some, uh, something or some, someone else up his sleeve, but given that uh, how has started piecing his backroom together, um, it would be it would come as a monumental surprise now if the fourth 43 year old is not confirmed as the man head up to head up this summer's equally enormous rebuild. Uh, the first bricks will be laid this week when the appointment of new chief executive Dominic Kai will be ex what? What's that? I don't even know. 
just get the process started really. Um, now it seems certain that Eddie, Eddie Howe is the answer there and one, the one big question is, which really does which really needs to be asked, I'm trying to like, see the words here, and probably new glasses or something. <laughs> Um, it says, how on earth did it take them so long to figure it out that Eddie Howe was really going to be the one that the one the like Celtic fans were screaming about? I was mainly talking about it four or five, maybe four months ago on the channel, maybe December time or something like that. Celt every Celtic fan, even if you had a channel or a podcast, were talking about we want change back then, but we just weren't getting it, and the results were still going down under. And it was absolutely a choice, and I know we won the Kudugo treble, which kept lining on the job for a wee lot longer as well. And that was against the championship side hearts to penalties, right? That was even the point, right? So, well, that's that's the main question. Why would it, why is it taking so long? Um, I'm accused by their own supporters of falling asleep in the wheel, which means you know even last season when we won nine in a row, the big banners falling the wheel because we didn't qualify for the Champions League again. I've been accused by their own supporters of falling asleep in the wheel during this season. Um, of all seasons, it does feel as if I've said to have taken a lot longer than they thought have to be done to reach a conclusion which has been stuck Starling staring him in the face for months. Given that Howe's name was being linked with this job while Lennon was still in it, it's difficult to um, do you know why only in the last few days have serious conversations have taken place around attempting the out of work English run across the border. So there you go guys, that is a wee bit about Eddie Howe and probably I, we really want to see him in because I'm I'm excited to see what his plans are. He plays good attacking attacking football. He's kept Bournemouth up for three or four seasons in the Premier League, top top league Premier League. Um, he's had great results. I think one of the times I watched um, when he says he beat Chelsea, I think he beat Chelsea a couple of years ago. <coughs> I beat I think he beat Chelsea a couple of years ago, guys. Um, he gave like more more good results from uh, the success at Bournemouth, but. Um, um, it's really see Celtic are actually taking the step forward now um, as we're going forward we're pushing Dom McKay bringing him in early 19th of April which is great to see um, as I said earlier guys hopefully we see Eddie Howe coming in as well obviously the Scottish Cup draw yesterday it was written in the stars that it was going to be Rangers like no like when you see Rangers like there's obviously it's going to be there you know man so that's two Ibrox games we've got so they've got the Scottish Cup game against uh, Rangers at Ibrox and obviously in May the 7th and 4th, 4th or 5th of May or something like that around about that time, May time we're away at Ibrox again for the Old Firm Derby and that's in the league at that time um, so it'll be interesting stuff guys to see in a few weeks or a few days time a few weeks to see what happens at Celtic big changes are, stuff are coming coming thick and fast as people would say um, so hopefully we see a good change at Celtic guys thanks for watching guys please subscribe like um, thanks for supporting the channel um, the next watch along we're doing is Celtic View London Saturday at half past two as the live stream will be kicking off me and MYT on Twitch. I'll be doing it with Lewis live here guys in the um on the stream so yeah make sure to stay tuned to the, that. It will also also watch along be live on YouTube as well so make sure to subscribe like as I said, follow on Twitch and um, you'll get notified when I go live. And thanks for your support on your support on both sides guys, it's been great. All that stuff, more videos guys come to you soon. I've been just Brain, brain stuck, I don't know about that, but I think even a word, but you know, struggling a bit. But we'll see more coming to the time where we get a final understanding. But I'll be renewing uh, re season to look at next season because I want to see what this is about next season. It'll be great, for, uh, hopefully, it'll be great next season, guys. Um, these podcasts won't stop, obviously, until we obviously get to go back to this, the the obviously the, the football get to go back to see the Celtic games which will be the, the football vlogs will be coming back the Celtic vlogs will be coming back which will be great to see next season Eddie Howe maybe under hopefully fingers crossed guys until the next video guys which will probably be hopefully Eddie Howe's announcement maybe not if it's not that it will probably be the Celtic v Limson match um, preview and then obviously we'll do the my watch long which is on Saturday on YouTube and Twitch and then we'll do the live reaction as well. So, until then guys, peace and subscribe and like here. Yeah.